I'm currently back at two flats, two six bed, all on suite HMO. This is the loft for a change and normally start from the ground. We've got a few problems in here actually. So as I said, all warts and all. Look at this lovely little crack here. But that's how they used to fit the beams and lofts. But what's happened is all the excess weight on the roof is forcing that down, causing that to open. It's exactly the same on the opposite side, but you'll see the gap's not as big. We're getting the BCO in to come and give us some advice, but what we're possibly going to do is put two what they call a flitch plate. It's like a metal bracket, like a flat piece of steel. It goes all the way across, depends on what the BCO wants. You get one goes on one side, one goes on the other. There's nicely aligned holes that you drill through. It's literally a nut and bolt, so it becomes one big clamp. So back to this side. Exactly the same, that's got to be sort of jacked up, then a flitch plate, so that's option one. Option two is to basically build up, either from down there on the supporting wall, build up an extra support, jack this up to its correct position, and then that creates a supporting wall. What we'll do then is cut this off all the way across, then we're going to do a dormer, which will be just under the ridge, it'll go straight out, if you think of a big box on the back of the house all the way out and it'll come back down where this is that'll create a massive open space in here so that's problem one problem two this existing loft conversion because all this uh, this wooden cladding was on both sides we ripped that off now and we found the loft conversion was only finished from there it started here they haven't gone all the way across so what you'll see here, these are the existing joists for the below ceiling. You'll see there, that's all the old lath and plaster. Yes, we've dropped our ceilings below, put acoustic mineral wool in and replastered, but that's not the point. We want to extend this loft to give that amazing feel of a big, big bedroom. But same again, we're getting advice, but it's here we've got to put a steel in and we've got to put sort of joist hangers either off the steel we'll probably put sort of wooden uh, noggings in but either way we've got to get some new joists from over there to here we can't take this out it's too much of a major job we're going to leave this as a platform so we're going to raise all of this section here so it's level with this so you come along you've got to step up and it's level we've got to do the same exactly the same this side it's raised up and you get a nice level deck that'd be both sides but you can imagine this side is gonna have that massive dormer on to create a massive bedroom take you downstairs here what's been going on i'll do the front of the building so these staircase cases existing got to got hiccups today so we're going to be moving the door to roughly here as long as the BCO will pass off these as, as existing stairs. God need. In there, we have a plug, as we have. First fix electrics are complete. All plasterboards going in. Light switch. You'll see here, I'm going to do something special on this one. I'll show you once it's all complete. A bit of inspiration from a property I saw up in Lincoln with Rob, Rob Hunter. But you can see exactly where the bed's going to go. This is a big bedroom. There'll be a set of drawers over there. That's where the plug will go for the TV example. And this is what we do from the beginning. We make little sketches like this for the builds to work off. So obviously doors here, en suite, which is on my left. Radiator under the window, plug for the TV. It's just simple to follow, really. Isolator, face fix plumbing. On most of our own suites, you always walk into a sink, left or right. You have either a shower on your left or a toilet on your left, vice versa on the other side. So there's a shower on your left. Let's give it a mix of valves. There's the toilet. So yeah, 
you'll see on this one the bills have gone and dropped all the ceilings so it allows for any services any wiring to go up there basically the feedback was yes it's cost added to the job or to his cost but by the time they've gone ripped the joists up sorry uh, pull the floorboards up and notched out the joists and it's just time time and effort to do all of that it's quicker for him just to basically drop the ceilings let all the plumbers and wiring sparks electrics put all their services in the drop ceiling so this is bedroom so bedroom six will be in the loft bedroom five is behind me this will be bedroom four this is what we said before you walked up the stairs there was a doorway here we put more wood in we boarded that over we've put acoustic mineral wool in the walls i've seen some people don't do that but this is going to be a bedroom you try and keep it as sound as possible what you don't be doing is someone sort of sneezing here and you're hearing a blatant sneeze outside we try and do our utmost to give the tenants the most comfort and as quiet as we can for the others got a lot of boards in here a lot of bloody screws but yeah so the bed's going to be here oh let me stand back so the bed here bedside radiator under the window set of drawers over there so you're lying in bed here and your ensuite right in front of you it's all pre-planned from day one that's the reason why we move the door to here from here because if you can imagine putting the door there where would you put your bed because the door there it opens this way say roughly to there either your bed squashed under the window which is not the best always forward plan your projects same again ensuite shower on the right sink will be in the middle and a recessed toilet on the left all the ducting's in let's go to bedroom three which is a door will be right here you walk in on suite on me right now creates a hallway usable floor area and this is where the last section of first fix will be done. It won't be done yet because down below we're taking the chimney out. So all this section will be extended afterwards. As you can see, all the first fix for the plumbing is there, awaiting the wall come down so they can carry on. There's the ensuite. The wall been boarded off as well. You find a lot of old houses, the walls aren't square. So let's give you a chance to hide your services right behind. Let's take you downstairs now, that was bedroom three. So you walk in the front door where I normally start my videos. Same again, this door's getting moved across into the center once it's moved across there'll be a wardrobe there let me take you in to see better so can't quite get but it's a bay window behind me as i said that door's getting moved across just roughly there it's not a lot but it's enough to create an open wardrobe there en suite you can see where everything's going to go same again, ceilings drops, but you can see exactly why I've dropped the ceilings. You can imagine trying to get all this out some way or other. That's the extraction for the bathroom. All these wires here for the fi fire and smokes, all the electrics here. How much easier is that for your tradesman just to get it above, pin it to the wall, hide above the tracking, put insulation in and then overboard. That'll save them a lot. So into the ensuite, as always. The sink in front of me. The toilet on this one will be to the left. There's a cold water feed. And to the right will be the shower. There's your hot and cold feed. Look, drop the ceilings in here to 2.4 high. There's your services coming down. That's your toilet. 
that's gone through the wall there because if they would have bought it straight down here and gone through under there there's a solid brick wall so they've gone through the wall down into the kitchen the toilet from behind me will go through and then in, into the basement i can show you that in a minute as well but always forward plan where services are going to go what's your room layout so walking through into the kitchen there you go there's your services coming down straight into the basement and out so this is getting bricked up same again soundproof always think about your tenants there's going to be a kitchen a bit of a, a wrap around here going all the way up oh, that chimney's getting squared off because it's a bit unsquare i'll show you in a minute so it's getting a wrap around here all the way across and around that window we are having a breakfast bar all the way across here as well tv in the center you can see the two x's there that'll be for the plug nice and simple once again drop ceiling so walking from the kitchen there's going to be a fire door here we're going to be putting a stud wall or brick wall here possibly brick it's quicker for this builder we use on here because he is a brick layer put a doorway in and that's your bedroom door what's going to happen is this big chimney is getting taken out there's going to be steels and concrete pad stone to support the upper part of the chimney so i've walked out of the kitchen now if you can imagine there'll be a wall here we are reinstating the back door the back door used to be in here so that's the escape so from roughly here that's going to be the uh, downstairs rear bedroom all chimneys coming out this is a really big uh, bathroom at the moment so that door is getting bricked up that window is getting bricked up it's not needed we're going to be shoving that's the original door we're going to be pushing that right back so it's a nice tight on suite which creates a bigger bedroom so as soon as we get the calculations in for this we'll be taking this down and bringing this chimney back so you can see that is quite thick and it starts there it's going to be brought roughly to say here so all the extra space is bedroom space So I thought to do an end video in my hotel today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe below so you can keep up to date with my videos. Any questions or queries, do also comment below. I have created a secondary category for ask me any question and I will do videos on that also. Thank you very much for watching again. Speak to you soon.